Hey guys, today we're taking a look at a recent Cold Steel slash Andrew Demko collaboration, the AD15. Uh, this knife is almost identical to the Andrew Demko Custom AD15, uh, except with the use of different materials, combining more affordable materials with uh, Cold Steel's ability to mass produce. These knives allows for uh, this collaboration to retail at 202.49, which is much lower than if you were to buy the Demko Custom version. Um, before we go into my thoughts on this knife, however, let's go over the specs. The Cold Steel 8015 has an overall length of 8.5 inches. The blade length is 3.5 inches, and the blade steel is CPM S35VN. This uh, knife weighs 6.5 ounces, and it features 3D machined G10 scales. Those G10 scales are attached to steel liners. The upper portion of the handle, known as the yoke here, uh, is made of 6061 billet aluminum, and when the knife is opened via the thumb stud, you'll see the uh, yoke automatically rise. And it falls into place in a deep notch cut in the blade's tang. The strong compression spring, which is concealed under the yoke here in the back, uh, provides constant pressure keeping the yoke securely in place. On top of that spring, the pressure applied by the user uh, supports and adds strength to the scorpion lock. So as you're using this knife and pushing down on it, that knife can't lift up that way to release, or the uh, lock rather. Before I go any further, I'll do a quick size comparison. Uh, first, I've got the popular Cold Steel Swift. And of course, I'm sure a lot of you will want to see the AD15 next to the AD10, another Andrew Demko Cold Steel collaboration. I'll also throw in a Spyderco Delica 4. Well, because our videos wouldn't be whole without one. Gives you an idea of the size there. A few large knives. So of course the 8015 can be found at knifehub.com and I'll be sure to post a link in the description below. So I've only handled a uh, Demco Custom version of the 8015 briefly at Blade Show. Um, so for those of you that spent a bit of time with both, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and the comparison. Um, as far as everyone else, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this knife as well. What do you think based on what you've seen, heard? Maybe you've held the knife, maybe you bought one. Make sure to let us know. And then to wrap up this video, um, I'll talk about what I like about the AD15. Well, the Scorpion Lock definitely takes some getting used to. I still uh, am not quite as Good with it as I would like to be. I think needs to learn how to adapt, Murph, like the rest of us. I've spent a little bit of time playing with it. Um, it's definitely unique and functional. I really like this in a knife. Uh, when new things are introduced and they end up working really well, you can tell this thing just works. And it, again, it, it just works. Um, this just proves that while there are a lot of great designs already out there, uh, including this one, we will continue to see innovations from custom knife makers and large manufacturers for a long time to come. Finally, um, I'm pretty simple. I really like the color combinations in the Cold Steel 8015. Uh, the tan slash kind of green color on the yoke uh, mixed with the green machined G10 uh, mixes things up nicely and well. It just works. Um, this is a really nice, big, tough knife that can take substantial abuse that maybe a lot of EDC knives can't. So if you're looking for something uh, to be a bit more durable, strong, and unique, you should probably consider picking one of these up. And well guys, this is going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to check out our other videos on the channel. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you see, remember to hit that subscribe button. If you have a particular knife you want to see reviewed, leave us a message in the comment below. We do our best to read all of them. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time.